In this module, we shall discuss some more finite groups. Let u4 equal to 1 minus 1 iota minus iota. And uh, you can see that these are the fourth root of unity. And let dot be the multiplication, ordinary multiplication in complex numbers. Then u4 is a group. And uh, as you see in the previous module, we have constructed Kali's table. And uh, in the similar manner, here we also constructed Kali's table for u4. Here the operation is multiplication. You can see that 1 is the multiplicative identity because 1 is the multiplicative identity of complex numbers. And uh, here you are seeing you are seeing four complex numbers 1 minus 1 iota minus iota. 1 into 1 equal to 1, 1 into minus 1 equal to minus 1, 1 into iota equal to iota, 1 into minus iota equal to minus iota. And in the similar manner, uh, minus 1 into 1, one minus 1, iota into 1, iota, minus iota into 1, minus iota. Now we multiply minus 1 into minus 1 equal to 1. Minus 1 into iota minus iota, minus 1 into minus iota equal to iota. Iota into minus 1 equal to minus iota, iota into iota equal to minus 1, iota into minus iota equal to 1. Minus iota equal to minus 1, iota, minus iota into iota 1, minus iota into minus iota equal to minus 1. Here you can see that minus 1 is the multiplicative inverse of minus 1. And uh, iota is the multiplicative inverse of minus iota. And minus iota is the multiplicative inverse of iota. And uh, inverse of the 1 is 1. The existence of inverse is satisfied in u4 and 1 is the identity element. Cloyer, you can see from the table, Cloyer property is satisfied because all the uh, uh, in all the rows exactly each entry appears exactly one times. So Cloyer property is satisfied in this way and uh, uh, multiplication is the binary operation. In this way you can see that u4 is a group associative property holds in complex number. It also holds in u4 which is a subset of the complex numbers. So u4 under multiplication is a group. And the order of u4 is also 4. There are 4 elements in u4. Now we find the order of each element. First we find the order of minus 1. The least number of times through which we multiply minus 1 with minus 1. When we multiply minus 1 with minus 1 we shall get minus 1 raised to power 2 which is equal to 1 the identity element. So order of minus 1 equal to 2. Now we shall find the order of iota. When we multiply iota with iota, we shall get minus 1. Iota square is minus 1. And then we multiply iota 3 times. We shall get iota cube. And we shall obtain minus iota. And when we multiply iota 4 times, we shall get 1. And order of iota the least power at which we shall get the identity element is 4. So order of iota equal to 4. Similarly, order of minus iota is also 4. And order of 
the identity element is 1 and uh, the that element would completely generate you 4 whose order is 4 and uh, you can see that minus one, order of minus 1 is 2 and it cannot completely generate it u4 because we minus 1 generates just two elements minus 1 and 1 and iota generates four elements iota minus 1 iota square iota cube minus iota and iota 4 1 so uh, you can see that iota generates whole group u4 similarly minus iota also generates whole group u4 um, u4 is a cyclic group cyclic group is that group which is generated by a single element here uh, u4 has two generators iota and minus iota so u4 is generated by iota it is also generated by minus iota is u4 under multiplication is isomorphic to z4 under addition modulo 4 both the groups are cyclic you have seen that and uh, uh, is have we one to one correspondence between the elements of u4 and z4 let's see one is the identity element of u4 it corresponds to zero class the identity element of z4 minus one corresponds to two the order of two class two is two and order of minus one is two both elements have same order and playing same role in the groups iota corresponds to class one iota completely generates u4 one also completely generates z4 minus iota is the generator of u4 and also class 3 is also the generator of z4 so there is a one to one correspondence between u4 and z4 and can we uh, generalize it u n is the n roots of unity which is given by e iota 2 k pi over n k equal to 0 1 up to so on n minus 1 it has n elements and u n under multiplication is a group and it is isomorphic to z n under addition modulo n this is the result which we shall prove later